Beautiful am I Bountiful am I Blissful am I Wahe Guru Greetings. Welcome to Spirit Voyages vlog series. And here we are in week two. The Creative Fire. <sighs> so before we blaze into this segment, let us bring our hands together and do what? Tune in. Do that thing, Sukden. Okay, take a deep inhale. Exhale, lengthen the spine, focus the eyes at the brow point. Let's inhale to begin. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Hold that breath and exhale. So here we are, the creative fire, exploring what it means to work with all the different facets of emotions and mind and channeling them towards creativity because those emotions of, you know, whether it's joy, passion, frustration, anger, even resentment or an unforgiveness, we can channel that into tremendous creative flow because that energy is just, when it's on the negative side, it's just pent up energy, right? That's looking for a gate to release through. And so creativity is a great gate for those emotions to flow through. And we can use the fire of especially the negative emotions to really channel into something positive and something super creative. So that's what we'll be exploring today through the different, the one Kriya and the one meditation that we have for you today. Important to note, we're talking about this integration and the creative aspect is in our right brain, but to be able to take that creative experience that might be charged with anger or fear or frustration and to logically allow it a place, a gate to flow through, mm -hmm. through writing, singing, playing music, maybe walking or running and writing poetry. Whatever that gate may be, you allow yourself to access your logical brain by allowing it to flow through your creativity. So today we're going to realign the electromagnetic field of the brain with breath of fire and lion's paw. Woohoo! So <laughs> let's get ready for this meditation to come this movement right here and just before we go into that I just I just had a, another thought that came through about another thought download download about this kind of um, creative fire and just kind of relating it to my own experience spontaneity you know because in the moment it's in the moment that we feel that frustration that anger and that resentment and to turn that into a teaching, whether you're a teacher, to turn that into a song, into a paragraph of your book, you know, to actually use that energy spontaneously in the moment. Because I found, I don't know about you, but some of my most creative outbursts are just right in the moment. There's a certain mood that's created and I just go in. And another aspect I'm thinking that's coming to me about creativity is when you've set a mood, a container, a space to create in, hold on to that as long as you can. Be diligent about not letting anything distract you. Turn off your phone, turn off the Wi-Fi, and just go into it and stay, because it's a zone, you know, it's a place that we access, and when we access it, 
we want to go in as deep as we can and really find the nuggets that are there for us creatively and tap into the subtleties. So go into that vortex of creativity and stay there as long as you can. And here's one little tidbit that you can use as a personal practice along with what Sukhdev is saying, is to consider yourself as the producer of your movie. You're the script writer of the movie of your life. <laughs> and so as the moments happen, we could be charged with that excitement like, wow, when it's time for me to leave my body, I will have this, this creative script of my life. Mm. I wish my father had left something like that for me. And in a way, he left a little genealogical kind of research of the family, which is his way of doing it, which has been very valuable to me. The point is, is that you will leave something that will be of value to those that love you. And who knows, Hollywood may need to have it so that we can educate the world about the way to go ahead and navigate ourselves through the negative feelings and bring the creative fire that transforms them into something that's useful for the planet. Sweet. Sweet. So let's prepare for the meditations. So stoking that creative fire, we're going to do Breath of Fire with lion's paw, resetting the electromagnetic field of the brain. So there's some movements to this. First, we're going to hold our hands. Tension in those hands. The hands in the brain formed from the same tissue, or hands in the head. So we want to keep that tension on the hands because it'll help pressurize the nervous system so we get it to change that perception of the story of the past that's negative. Then we're going to extend the arms out. I'll go in front so you can see. Palms are up at shoulder level. The, the chin is tucked in slightly, so just a slight neck lock. Now this movement is for nine minutes, but here we're going to be doing it for a minute, so you go ahead and continue. <laughs> if, you, if you'd like, all right? And so there's some refinement to the ending, but we'll get to that. So the movement is coming up above the head so that the palms are over the crown. You come back down to shoulder level. You're doing breath of fire through all of this, but now you alternate. So whatever hand was in the front, it's in the back. And then you go down. So you're going to be alternating the hands going above the head. And so now put the hands down. Let me explain how we're going to end. You can watch me. We're going to continue when I, when I let you know. We're going to continue. We're going to stick the tongue out as far as you can and continue breath of fire. Then we're going to inhale and hold, bring the tongue in. We're going to inhale and hold for 15 seconds with our hands above the crown like so. I guess the upper arms are at about a 60 degree angle. Then we're going to exhale, inhale completely again and hold for 30 seconds. Now they indicate in the manual to do this for three to five minutes, this ending. I guess you can choose where you fall into that space. <laughs> so let's bring our hands at shoulder level, palms up to begin. Inhale, begin breath of fire. Eyes can be closed, looking up at the brow point or focused on the tip of the nose. There's no indication for the eyes. Tension on the fingers. Okay, it's been one minute. Almost. Now stick the tongue out and keep going with the breath of fire.
Bring your tongue in. Inhale. Bring the hands over the head. Hold that breath. Apply root lock. Hold the hand position, exhale. Inhale deeply. And hold. Sip a little air in. for a moment and just feel the effect moving of the arms clearing the lymphatic system the breath of fire activating pineal and pituitary helping to re-synchronize recalibrate the electromagnetic field of the brain so your projections brain's projections can be in alignment with your soul's projection, your soul's creative flow. Bring the hands together at the chest. Sadhana. Sadhana.